Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we are making Taiwanese rice noodles from scratch. This is a difficult ingredient to find abroad, so I want to show you how to make it because it's super easy. There are only two ingredients involved, but it is tricky. So I want to go into details and guarantee you make the perfect rice noodles every single time. All right, let's get started. It is best to use a nonstick pot. Stainless steel cookware could work, but there is a risk of sticking. Stir until no lumps. This spatula is not stirring that good. I switched to a silicone whisk so it doesn't scratch my nonstick pot. Okay, that looks good. Set that aside for a second. Before we turn on the heat, let's get the piping bag ready because when the dough is done heating, you want to transfer it into the icing bag as soon as possible to stop the cooking process. Do not use those plastic piping bags because you will have to squeeze the noodles out with a lot of force and the plastic ones will just break right away. I'll link this product in the description. You can check it out if you need it. As for the piping tip, I'm using this round one, which is a quarter of an inch in diameter. This is the perfect size for Taiwanese rice noodles. This icing kit comes with 49 different tips. You can play around and find your favorite shape. Once you assembled the piping bag, you can get back to the flour mixture. Turn the heat to low and start heating. Stir constantly. For the first few minutes, the consistency of the mixture will not change at all. It feels like nothing is happening. When it gets to 4 or 5 minutes, the starch will start forming at the bottom. You will collect a big chunk of starch on your spatula as you are stirring. Immediately remove the pot from the stove and take some time to incorporate the lumpy chunks. Once everything becomes smooth and fluent again, you can put it back onto the stove. Keep stirring over low heat. This is the first tricky part. A lot of people fail because they didn't do this right. Every time you see the starch forming a big chunk on your spatula, you have to remove it from the heat and incorporate the chunky part evenly before putting it back onto the stove. The purpose of doing this is to get an even consistency. If your mixture is heating up too fast, it becomes uneven. Some parts are hard, some parts are soft. Then when you squeeze the dough into noodle strings, they will not be even and they will break apart. As you repeat this on and off the stove process, the mixture will get thicker and thicker. You have to lift up the mixture to check the consistency constantly. If the mixture drips down like a straight ribbon, that is too thin, the noodles will dissolve into the boiling water instantly and you will end up with a big pot of slurry. Let's keep heating for a little more. When you see the mixture is not fluent anymore, lift up a big batch and one chunk will fall off. Then the rest stays on your spatula with a swinging tail. That is the time to transfer the mixture into the piping bag. Do not overcook it, otherwise it becomes too hard and you cannot squeeze it. The window for this perfect consistency is only 30 seconds. If you missed it, you will end up with a failure. This whole process takes about 15 minutes. It is best to heat up a big pot of water before you start this. So when you finish, the water comes to a boil. Take a deep breath and evenly squeeze the noodles into the water. Do your best to get it as long as you can. Of course, if you have to stop for a second, it is completely fine. 
the amount that I gave is enough to serve two people, and it will take a few minutes to squeeze. The cooking time depends on how you're gonna use these noodles. If you're going to season them and eat the noodles right away, you should cook them fully. When they are fully cooked, they will float to the top of the water. If you are going to use the noodles to make stir fry or boil them again in the broth to make noodle soup, then don't cook them all the way through. Which means that you should remove the noodles before they float to the top of the water. Transfer the noodles into the ice bath. This will give them a nice chewy texture. Look how perfect they came out! So smooth and even. They look like machine made. All right, let me take a bite. Hmm. Hmm. These noodles. Have the best texture. They're very slippery, pleasantly chewy, and have a little bounce. I love them so much. <laughs> you can stir fry them or use them to make noodle soup. I hope you give this a try soon because I'm going to share lots of recipes in the future to show you how to use these noodles. Don't forget to check out the link for this cake icing kit. All right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.